All right. Hi, Daphne. Well, thank you for joining us today. Hi, Kathy. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, as you know, we're opening enrollment into the association soon, so we'd love to hear from associates who have recently transitioned into industry, like yourself. Um, so thank you for being here. I appreciate it. So to start, maybe you can tell us uh, your name and the company and role that you are in now. Sure. Uh, my name is Daphne, and I started in a company called Medphoton as an imaging expert. That is in Salzburg, Austria. Um, I started in the beginning of January, so it's still sort of my first month. That's great. Um, so maybe to start, let's rewind a bit and talk about before you joined the association. And maybe you can tell us a little bit about the struggles that you had. Um, if it helps, you can think about it in kind of technical challenges versus um, more mental challenges. So getting your resume uh, done versus kind of the mindset shifts that you had to make. Sure. So I've been doing my PhD in Finland. And I was working mostly alone. And from a research perspective, I sort of got used to it because I had to do it. But then I had no idea how to transition to industry or what I was supposed to do. And Finland as a country is also a bit secluded. So I wasn't sure if anything international would work in this sense. If I could, you know, make an international influence on different parts that I was interested in, and that's why I started looking at the association in the first place, because I had some network through my PhD, but it wasn't nearly enough, and I didn't know how to get in touch with them or what I was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. I mean, it's something that we see a lot, right, is that people are so used to being within their very specific academic bubble that it's hard to see what else is out there. Um, so I'm glad that you mentioned that. So my next question would be then, how did you overcome these challenges? So what were a couple aha moments that you had when you first joined the association? So the first one was essentially seeing how people were encouraging each other on the Facebook group. And that's how I also sort of started. Because then I could first at least look at my CV, uh, my resume and my LinkedIn profile and at least go through them once and then do some iterations with you and others' feedbacks as well. That was, I think, a good starting point. And then as I was going through the modules, my first reaction was to go through everything fast and then go back and do them when I had time. But then with the reminders throughout the modules, I realized that I had to do them as they came. So I had to readjust, slow down, and go step by step, and make sure that each step I took was actually sufficient for the next one. Oh, that's great. I'm glad you mentioned the modules. And, um, you know, we always talk about going at your own pace, but it's good to have that accountability to make sure that you're getting it done and that you're, you're doing it in a way that helps you with your job search and not just kind of ticking boxes. Yeah, that's important. So you mentioned the private group. So as far as that goes, um, how did you feel the private group helped you in terms of your transition and, and building your network? It helped in, first of all, to see how similar everyone's problems were, irrespective of which field we worked in and uh, what kind of professions we had or which parts of the world we were. And then in addition to that, I realized that it was so easy to ask there, and there was always someone who could give some advice. Yeah. That was extremely useful, So because you have to start from somewhere. The questions in your mind, they just stay there. <laughs> yeah, it's great to have that kind of avenue to talk, which is good. So I guess my last question would be then, um, Something that's always fun to ask is, did you have any reservations before you joined the association? And kind of if you did, uh, were they alleviated uh, after you joined? Yeah, so since we didn't have access to all the material beforehand, I wasn't sure how much stuff was actually there. And I joined some 
motivational or like work related things before and they weren't at all useful they were actually quite disappointing from a PhD perspective and I thought this would also be sort of a waste but then I didn't have much of a choice on what else to do so I just wanted to give it a try and I'm glad I did yeah well we're happy that you did as well thanks so much Stephanie I really appreciate you talking with us Thanks, Congratulations Debbie. again. Thank you.